Hello guys, welcome to the fifth video tutorial on PHP programming for beginners and in this video we are going to see how to use and declare variables in PHP. So till now in the last video I have shown you how to write your hello world first program and how to provide comment to your program right and by the way make sure that your Apache server is running using your control panel XM control panel and you are able to see this parent directory in my case this was YouTube which I have made in my hdoc folder right and in the last video I have made one PHP file to test my hello world program okay now in this video I'm going to make a new file so I will just click new I will save it as a variable variable.php okay and once again when I refresh my program I will be able to see this variable.php but right now it's blank okay so first of all I will just write my skeleton and it will end like this right and let's see how variable works in PHP okay so in PHP variable or PHP variables must begin with and sign okay so if you are used to uh, uh, some other variable declaration if you uh, have learned C or C++ or Java and or any other uh, programming language you are used to uh, using data type of the variable first and then the name and then you can assign the value to it but in PHP all variables start with this end symbol and they don't start with any data type PHP interprets their value by the initialization they get okay and so let's see how we can declare a variable First of all, what is a variable? A variable is a container for some value. Okay, so value var variable is something that stores your value. Okay, so in PHP, we just need to define this and and then the name of your variable. So, for example, I can name my variable as uh, um, value, for example, and I can initialize this value by a number or a string so I will initialize uh, this value by a number for example and by this initialization your uh, variable knows or PHP knows that this variable which is value is of type integer right in a same way for example I can uh, declare a uh, name for example this is the name of my variable and I can initialize this by a string so I can just write programming programming knowledge okay so by this initialization PHP knows that name is a string uh, variable and by this initialization PHP knows that our value is an integer initialization or integer value right so unlike other languages PHP doesn't provide any data type right uh, it only start with uh, this end symbol and it is decided by the initialization of the variable what type it is okay now PHP variables are case sensitive so you can see that this variable with a capital B O O is not equal to this this one I just need to change this this should be small b okay so let me change this so this boo which starts with, with capital B is not equal to this boo which, which starts with, with uh, small b 
and this is even not equal to this boo so php variables are case sensitive okay now global and locally scoped variable global variable can you can use it anywhere in the program and the local variable we can use inside a function or a class that we will see later okay and some of the variable names are reserved in php like post underscore post in capital letters underscore get in capital letters these are form variables and in a similar way some server variables are reserved so you cannot declare a variable which is same as this server right in capital so some of the variables are reserved in php right now we move further let's see the uses of, of uh, this variable so i have already shown you whatever you provide the value of variable it's called that uh, uh, variable so if you initialize uh, a variable with a numerical value it will be called a numerical va variable and if you initialize your uh, variable by a string value it will be called string variable okay and these variables you can uh, perform some uh, multiplication or arithmetic operations but on string values you cannot do the, these values because string you cannot uh, multiply or divide or add, uh, add them together right so let's see this this also so for example i want to multiply this by some value so i can write and and then the value is equal to and so whenever you use this value you need to initialize this by and so you know that this is a value right so you can do it like this you don't need to provide any space in, in between and you can multiply this value by for example 8 like this okay and it will be completely valid but so let's try and run the program I will save it and I will just refresh this and right now there is uh, nothing printed and uh, no error is coming that's uh, that means our variable is uh, uh, I mean not giving any error right no result because we are not printing anything right now that's why we are not seeing any result but it's not giving any error right but on the same on the other hand for example I want to multiply this name variable which is a string variable by the initialization so I can do something like this and I want to multiply by this name by 8 for example this will not be, be valid because your variable is a string and you cannot multiply it by, by some number so whenever I try to run this it will show me error use of undefined name assume name in this okay so in this way it will show or throw an error whenever you perform some invalid operations right so you can only do arithmetic operation on numerical values okay so this is uh, this one it will show an invalid expression right now I have already shown you in the last video what echo does echo is a, a command or a function you can use to output the parameter passed to it okay so the typical usage of for this is to send data to the client browser okay so we have seen this example but we will see this in detail also and its syntax is like this void echo and it takes the string argument right and by default or uh, the functions in the PHP 
takes argument in parentheses but because it's a inbuilt parameter or inbuilt function in PHP you don't need to give these parentheses in case of this echo and let's see what how we can use echo in PHP so for example if you want to echo the value of uh, this bar so I can just use this echo like this echo and in the double quotes you can just pass this name with including this and symbol okay and end with semicolon and save this and run it once again and I can see the name programming knowledge here right in a similar way I can print for example I want to print this value and this value side by side what I can do here is I can just use it like this you don't even need to use these uh, double quotes here and you just need to use this comma and you can print these two values side by side by using separated by this comma also okay and when I run the program it will give the result hopefully like this you see programming knowledge and the value is 200 because we have multiplied our value by 8 so 25 multiplied by 8 is 200 and 200 will be printed here okay and in the case of variable if you want to print only the variable you don't need to use these double quotes but if even you use this double quote it uh, will not make much of a difference okay now for example if you want to print this value in addition with some uh, your your um, uh, your values for example your strings you can do it like this echo and for example you want to give uh, 25 multiplied by 8 is equal to and you want to give this value right uh, whatever is the value of your value so you can just write comma and the value and it will give you the result okay I will just comment these out so that only the value of this will be printed so I will save it and once I run this I see this result 25 into 8 is equal to 200 so this is the value and this is the string we have printed okay so this will be the static value this is just a string we have uh, uh, we, we wanted to print but this is the value actual value you are printing here right you can even print uh, the same thing without using commas so you can just exclude comma here and you can just include this inside your double quotes and the result will be the same so I will just comment this out save it and let's refresh our program and the result is same right so you can use this uh, value to print like this using comma separator or you can use it like this but for example if you want to echo in something in uh, something using single quotes for example I will echo the same value using single quotes single quotation is just like this not the double quotation I'll remove these double quotations then what will happen whatever you include in single quotes let's see first of all the result I will comment this out and save it and once again run this you only will be able to see this value that means whatever you print or whatever you write in single quote the value of that will be taken literally literally means whatever you will include inside your single quote it will, it will be printed as it is it will not render this variable as the value 200 
it will be printed like this but on the other hand when you use double quotes your value will be rendered from here whatever is the value finalized value of it and it will be printed so always use single quote when you want to print something literally as it is and you can use double quotes whenever you want to print the value of the variable or something like this so in this way you can use variables and echo function in your php programming i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now